Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dr. Ganatra, author of Reinventing Dentistry and creator of Dental Practice Mastery, where we teach you how to build, market, and grow your own practice. So in this video, I'm chairside here at my practice and uh, I really wanted to talk to you about the number one chairside skill you could develop as a dentist. And, and I bet you probably don't know what I'm thinking about here, obviously, because maybe your mind is just defaulting to clinical, okay? Maybe you're thinking it's a clinical skill. Maybe you're thinking that it's uh, a specific way to treat your patients. But you know what? This is something a little bit different, okay? This has a lot to do with your energy, a lot to do with how you influence your patients, because this right here is where the magic happens. When you're chair side with your patients, when you are connecting with them, when you are vibing with them and they're pitching and catching with them and you're going back and forth, that's where the magic happens. So what is the most influential part of that magic? You know, and what I've found in the last 13 years of doing this and building three offices from scratch, you know, with ground up from no patients to now we're thousands of patients. Uh, and, you know, I found that the number one skill to really, or, or, or trait to kind of develop in yourself is really that of enthusiasm. You know, uh, some people may call it energy. I like to say enthusiasm because enthusiasm really brings life into all your conversations. You know, when you walk into a room, are, are you connecting with that patient or are you just kind of walking in? you know, kind of dulled out from the day and maybe this is your 10th patient you've seen or maybe it's just, you know, it's the end of the day or are you walking in and are you, are you magnified by, uh, are you amplified by the energy and the, the kind of coolness of being able to meet a different person multiple times a day? Are you interested in that person? Are, do you want to kind of understand who's sitting in your chair? Are, are you excited that you get to meet this person again and, and talk to them and learn about their life and really connect with them and really have the ability to have an impact on their care? It, it all comes down to enthusiasm and how enthusiastic are you about your day, about your life, about what you're doing here today in dentistry. I don't care if you've been practicing for two years or you just graduated or maybe even practicing for 30 years. You know what? Infusing this element of enthusiasm into your day with your patients is really gonna take a huge, huge, is gonna have a huge effect on how you go through your day and the kind of results you have not only in your day, but in your life, right? And we spend so many t hours of our day here. So how do we do this? How do we uh, generate and garner more enthusiasm throughout our, throughout our day? Well, the first thing that I usually do is I'm really sincerely excited about seeing a patient. I'm excited about getting to know them. I'm excited about you know what's going on in their life. And I'm excited to have that human element of, of you know, what are you about? What's happening with you? How cool is that? I'm asking questions about them. I'm cheering them on. I'm kind of, you know, I'm celebrating their life along with, with us here in the office. You know, we've been seeing patients for so long now and, you know, 10 years in my practice here and I've seen kids go from junior high to applying to colleges. So, you know, it's cool to be able to do that. And if you're practicing right now and you're maybe kind of out of, that sense of you know energy or you're a little drained i suggest you get back into really honoring the ability to connect with your patients and having the privilege of having them in your office just realize wow i got a human being that's that has a life outside of my practice in my practice and they're here to uh, to, to to be in my office and to have me care for them i mean that's a privilege you know, and there's a lot of people that work in this world that work in a cubicle and maybe don't like what they do and they don't get to meet uh, interesting people every day. And you do, I do. And you know what? Let's honor that. And that's the first thing you can do. If you, if you want to infuse more enthusiasm into your day, appreciate and honor someone else's life and their story and where they're coming from. That's important. The second thing you can do is really just manage your own level of energy. Where are you in the gauge of your energy flow for the day? How are you feeling? What kind of things are you focusing on? Are you making empowering decisions? Are you thinking about things that are really gonna boost your life forward? Are you uh, really hounding yourself with negative thoughts or are you hung up on these thoughts? Or are you really thinking that, wow, you know what? Um, this is gonna be another wonderful day. Do you have the intention set in your day that you are gonna actually make this a wonderful day. I'm gonna generate and create that 
enthusiasm through my day. I'm going to make sure that I actually show up with a smile and you know, I'm here to be engaged with the people that I'm with. And if you kind of come from that perspective, you'll find that you're going to get more enthusiasm. Third, what can you do? Well, another thing you can do to really have more enthusiasm is to be really mindful of your physical body, mindful of how you move your body, how how, you know, how you're feeling physically, you know, how do you wake up? What's your morning routine? Are you are you exercising enough? Are you eating the right foods? Are you hydrating? You know, if you're mindful of these things and you know that this physicality can turn into energy and that energy is what we see as enthusiasm with our patients, you know what? That's really going to make your practice that much more happier for a patient to be at, right? So be mindful of your physical energy or how you're feeling physically. And if you're feeling down, you know, start, you know, move a little bit. Go in there, go into your office and do some jumping jacks or or go in there and just start moving. Start just just get loose with the flow, the the motion of being in your practice with your patients, you know? You know, walk around your office a few times. Whatever you have to do, Get in there, start feeling energetic, you know, um, talk to your team, uh, joke around with your patients, feel lighthearted, you know. Uh, this quality of enthusiasm is really what's going to make it so that your patients actually start treatment, they're going to come back for treatment, they're going to be more connected to keeping their appointments, they're going to prioritize you over some of their other plans because they know that when they come into your practice, you're going to infuse a level of energy into their life just by them being in your practice that they probably can't get at too many places. And people want to be around other people that have that level of energy, that level of just uh, output that really lifts them up as well. So, you know, enthusiasm goes a long way. And if you want to build your business and if you want to market yourself internally so your patients are actually feeling good, not only through the dentistry, but how they feel when they're around you, be more enthusiastic and uh, honor the value of seeing this patient in your office and celebrate them. Celebrate who they are, where they're going, and the fact that they actually came in to hang out with you. So if you greet them well, and if you, and if you, you call them by their first name, and if you chat with them, and you shake their hand, and you connect with them before you start your, your dental work on them, and you do this all enthusiastically, I promise you're going to be at a place where you're starting to master more of your day and more of your practice and enjoying dentistry even more. So I hope this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, live enthusiastically. We'll see you then. Bye.